I've used Fiverr a lot over the last year or so, and I want to make this very clear right away, this is not a sponsored video, so before you spit out your chocolate milk on the computer screen and screech, ad, sponsored, it's not the case. I just actually use the site, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well, maybe you've even commissioned furry porn from Fiverr. It's like being Timmy Turner and having your own pair of fairy godparents, you get to just wish something into existence, but over the course of like a week or two and only after paying them. I've mainly used the site for digital art to commission pieces from some talented artists over there, because you can find some shit that looks like it belongs in a museum for like 10 bucks, like some professional pieces, just absolute bangers, and they're only charging like $10. It feels like you're stealing from them, like it's a fucking crime. And last week, the boys and I had the idea of seeing what kind of musical talent Fiverr has to offer. So we thought it would be fun to commission five artists at different price levels from low, like $10, all the way up to a couple hundred dollars, to see what kind of quality work we would get for the price. So we wanted to see who could make the best Godslap theme song. Our little prologue teaser run for Godslap is ending in just under two days as of posting this video. So if you still want to get a copy of the teaser comic, you're more than welcome to check it out. I'll link the, the site in the description below. Now this isn't like the most unique idea. In fact, I've seen a couple videos like this, but it always focuses on either animation or digital art. I haven't seen anything for music. So I'm extremely curious to see how the musicians hold up from the different price levels. Is a $10 musician producing just as great of work as the couple hundred dollar music musical studio? Because they don't just have individuals doing this, they actually have full-time studios on Fiverr. All four of those studios we talked to dropped it. One of them dropped out last minute, so fuck me I guess. Getting a theme song from one of the music studios here seems pretty impossible, that was unfortunate. So we weren't able to do the original idea we had, which was taking $10 versus like $400. So instead what we did is collected five uh, pieces from five individuals on Fiverr, ranging from $10 up to $150. So track one, starting at $10, comes from Club Moses. God slap through the city below. If you get slapped, then your body goes cold. Slap through the end of me like God would intend. It's pretty good. It made me feel like I was watching an old Saturday morning cartoon. Like in that episode of The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy when they formed the band Purple Filth. Uh, like, that's what that reminded me of. I could absolutely see this song playing at like a club scene during Batman Beyond or something. So I'm definitely a fan, and we didn't give any lyrical guidance or anything like that. Just wanted them to tackle it in their own style with whatever they saw fit. And I think Club Moses did a great job. So now let's check out track number two. This comes from Alexander Lapko at $25. Fucking wonderful. That sounds like a song that would play during the first Triple X when Xander Cage is snowboarding down an avalanche and they're blasting Hatebreed. This song could absolutely have taken the spot of that. It sounds pretty good to me. But most of you know, like, I'm a huge metal guy, so this is just right in the soft spot on my boners here. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I thought it sounded great, and at $25, he's just fucking giving this away. Like, I, I enjoyed it. There's not a whole lot of lyrics to it or anything, but it still just sounds good. 
I like the aggression and the tone of it. It really sets the mood like this is going to be some hardcore shit. So yeah, absolutely great job on that one. Now track number three. This is from Raul Alvarez at $65. That is pretty fucking hard. That sounds right out of the Katana Zero OST. That sounds great. Now, the setting of God Slap is in like a futuristic cyberpunk style universe, and this fits right in there. I absolutely love the intro where there's a slap sound effect that just sounds like someone's ass cheek getting blasted, and then it leads into like the extremely hard cyberpunk synth. I, I really liked it a lot. I thought this was an absolute banger. Now let's move on to track number four. This comes from Seba the Lord at $90. That's the kind of music you hear in My Hero Academia right before he throws like the fucking Detroit Atom Smasher United States a slam final blast on the bad guy. Like, I, I really like that. Shit was getting me hyped. It was just this crescendo of hype going up. So I'm a big fan of that. I don't know if it really work as like an intro or a theme. This would be something you'd hear lightly building in the background as two characters are just locked in a really emotional moment with rain falling on them and he's saying, this one's for my grandpa, and then going in for the final kill. So I think it works really well as a backing track to a big battle. Now let's move on to the most expensive and final piece, which is $150 from Kid Mental. Fuck me a king, that shit for the fun. I'm killing a king until I'm a god. Call me a god. I am a god. I am a god. I am a, I am a, I am a god. Yeah. I am a problem. Fucking with me, you might end up a product. A terminal solace. Yeah. Fit with the coffin, they talking no chronic. Check out the relic. My enemies talking, they claiming they heartless. I'm checking they poses. The minute they bleed, I'm calling they cards. In. I'm stuck in some gun. I'm son in this field, I'm fucking it done. I'm a son of a gun and I'm popping the semen until it's just running the mug. I divide weakness, no device needed. No one exists that has witnessed my genius. The guy's like a reach. I'm placing your features. With feminine print. To the extent to fight free Fuck me a king That shit for the fun I'm killing a king Until I'm a god Call me a god I am a god 
am a god. I am a I am a I am a god. Absolutely fire. Worth every goddamn penny. I thought that absolutely banged. I thought that was perfect. I've always enjoyed beatboxing, though I've never expected it would work so well as like an actual produced piece. The closest thing I've heard to this was that time when we did the Twitch talent show and a guy made a live Jar Jar Binks beatbox set. But this, this was better. Like, significantly. And I loved Jar Jar Pink's one, but this was so good. And I really appreciated he put an entire verse in there so it wasn't just the hook. It made it feel like a fully produced intro and just like a complete package as opposed to just like a hook you'd hear one time repeated a couple times. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this just made it feel like, you know, I got an entire experience out of it as opposed to just like a simple intro that I'd fast forward through if I heard it in a show. I thought it was wonderful. All five of these were really, really good. All of them in a different style, so I can't say which one was the best or anything like that, as cliche as it is. I really appreciated the effort that went into it, and what they delivered for the price is absolutely mind-blowing. I can't say I'm a huge fan of the musical studios after after this experience. I think I'll probably just stick with individuals that actually put in like the effort and are really easy to communicate with, and they deliver some absolute fire. This was fantastic. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, because I know we did. I don't know if we'll do anything with the theme songs that we commissioned. I'm sure we'll find something for them at some point, but for now, it's just nice to have them. That's about it. See ya.